Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, uh, this time I wanted to keep it cool, chill, calm, relaxed. Um, a lot of the content that's on my channel is, well, the vlogs are quite relaxed and, you know, I don't have to concentrate on what I have to say and how I have to plan things. But one thing that I realized is I get a lot of questions in my DMs. And I get questions on my community tab and I get questions in some of my videos in the comment section and I thought I've got a lot of questions that I need to answer and I haven't gotten the chance to answer them and I thought today because I am actually filming a what I eat in a day video I might as well just sit down have a cup of tea and answer some of your questions so the ones that I'm gonna pull up today are from the community tab you know what's funny with you guys is that when I ask you guys for questions on Instagram in a specific Insta snap and I say, what are your questions? Comment, let me know. And I put up that little question, you know, box, right? People don't ask questions there, but you'll ask questions everywhere else. And for me, having the questions in one space makes it very easy for me to go somewhere when I'm looking for those questions. I apologize makes it very easy for me to go to one specific place when I'm looking for those questions. So please, interact. If I put up a questions thing on Instagram, please put your question in there so that I know where to go when I need to answer questions. Uh, the questions I'll be answering today are from my community tab. So I'm just going to go in and answer them because there's quite a lot. Uh, what's your definition of a successful woman? Because you say you're not as successful as you'd like to be, but you seem like you're doing pretty well in this life thing. I know looks can be deceiving. <laughs> yes, they can, baby girl. But they're not deceiving in this case. But yes, they can. Um, you're living my aesthetic and that's why I love your videos. Thank you. No go nueva. No go nueva. I don't know. Please let me know if I'm wrong. But, um, so the question is, what is your definition of a successful woman? I like to say that I'm not successful because, in my opinion, success means being able to do what you want, when you want. Not being confined to a certain, um, you know, time slot, business, this, this. You know, when, when business runs itself when you can travel as and when you want and travel well, not just travel, like travel well. That's, that's success for me. When you can buy a car outright and, and, and pay cash for it. And I'm just giving examples. When you have multiple properties, success for me is being able to live your life and not feel like you're confined to having to wake up and go to work every day which for me i do um you know you're not confined to that you're not confined to having bills to pay and and sometimes you know some months when there's certain unexpected expenses you get stressed out i do i get to that point where i'm like oh something happens and then i have uh unexpected expenses and then i think oh you know, now I need to pull that from my savings pile or what have you. And that sets me back a little bit in terms of how much I can put away that month or whatever. So for me, success is never having to worry about that. Success means being comfortable and set for the rest of my living days. Okay. That for me is the definition of success. Am I living comfortably? Of course, and I am grateful to God and thankful to 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 God for that. Um, but do I feel like I could be living more comfortably, much more comfortably? Absolutely. And until I get to that much more comfortably, until I get there, I'm not quite. I'm not quite done yet. I'm not quite successful. Not the way that I would like to be. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. How do you get out of your own way so you don't ensure that you're not your own enemy of progress? I love this question. P.S. You're really beautiful and I like your nails also. Thank you, Oring. <laughs> Thank you so much. This question is from Lindy Wem Dali. Thank you so much for your question. How do you get out of your own way? The problem is with us human beings. We are very, very good at getting in our own way. And me getting in my own way essentially means that I doubt myself. I 
listen to the opinions of other people regarding my hopes, dreams, aspirations. Doubting myself goes part and parcel with, ah, will I be able to do it? Do I have the money? Do, um, is it going to be successful? Is it going to be a failure? What are people going to think? What are people going to say? I think like this sometimes, not as much as I used to, but from time to time, I think like this and that's me getting in my own way. Getting out of my own way is not considering what other people think. Do it anyway. They might say whatever they want to say, but do it anyway. Might you fail? Sure, I might fail. I might fail in, 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 in whatever business that I, I might. It's always a possibility. But do I walk into it thinking that already? No. So I need to cast out the negative um, statements and opinions that I have in my head and just do it. And for me, the only way that to, to do that is to actually be so busy doing what I am doing that I don't have time to negatively think about things like that or to negatively make those statements in my head. I am so busy running this and I'm so busy doing that and I'm so busy trying to do this and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Like with YouTube, I'm so busy recording all the time that I don't have the time to think about, let me see my stats, money, what, what. I'm so busy. If I'm not recording, I'm doing this for the certain project that I'm doing. If I'm not doing that, I'm at work. If I'm not doing that, I'm with my family. I'm so busy that I don't have the time to harbor the thoughts of negativity. And even when I do have downtime, I'm so tired that even with the downtime, I just want to read or sleep, you know? So I feel like that's the only way to get out of your own way is to cast out um, all the negative thoughts, all the, the unsolicited and unwarranted comments that people are going to come at you with regarding your business. It's my business. Why? And all of that. I feel like you need to find courage and be brave about what you want to achieve or what you want to do for yourself, for your life. Whether it will be successful or not, that's, that's, that shouldn't even be a thing in your head. You need to just get started and do what you need to do. And whatever it is that people are going to come at you with in terms of negativity, cast it aside. Don't think about it. If your friends are negative, stay away from your friends. If your family members are negative, don't tell them anything. Just do it yourself and move in silence, like I said in, in, in one of the other videos. Move in silence and keep going. I hope that answers your question, Lindy. Nah, I don't have questions. I just love you. Thank you, Tandy Mzamo. <laughs> Mzamo is a very special word to me. And those who know me personally will know why. Mental health, a big one for me. How do you navigate or rather tackle anxiety and depression? Basically, your coping me mechanism and staying optimistic. I speak about this in my second GAD video, but sometimes the techniques that I may have are not enough. So because I struggle with anxiety quite a lot and, and it affects me so much, it's, sometimes it gets very debilitating. Sometimes even all the tricks of the trade that I have learned that have helped me out just don't come through and that's when I take medication, of course prescribed to me by my doctor. But the other tricks of the trade that I do have often, more often than not, do work. So a lot of the time for my mental health, I definitely need to, one, isolate myself. I, I need time alone. If I'm very, very anxious and I'm da -da -da and I'm da -da -da, I need to be alone for some time so that I can calm myself down. How I do that, I sleep, I eat um, the right food. This is really weird because when I eat junk, Often it, it tunes my mind to be very unhappy because I know what junk does to my body. So I eat the right food. I eat very healthily when I am very anxious. I sleep quite a lot. I can even sleep during the day. I can sleep, I can sleep at, um, at night, obviously people sleep at night, but I can sleep during the day. I can take power naps, which I really don't. Like I am very comfortable working throughout the day. I've been working all morning and I'm still working now. And I feel like I can go on and on until literally 
10 o'clock tonight. But um, I sleep a lot. I eat the correct food. I distract myself in terms of I now reading is a very good distraction for me uh, when I feel like I'm anxious. I also distract myself by cleaning. For me, um, I know a lot of people have said that I'm OCD when it comes to cleaning and keeping a clean space. I do absolutely believe that this is true. Um, but I, I do it because also it makes me feel very good. Something about cleaning, I don't like ironing. But something about cleaning, just generally moving things around, cleaning, uh, decluttering a space, you know, in winter, I'll, I'll move my jerseys from a certain space and put it here and whatever. Just keeping busy for me in the house, I really love it. It brings me a sense of calm and relaxation and um, I really, really enjoy it. So those are some of the mechanisms that I've learned to harness over the years. But um, the biggest one is if I can't control my, if my anxiety just overruns me, I definitely have to take medication for it. And I have it. I hope that answers your question. Did I say your name? Tobeka, I hope that answers your question. Luyanda says, how do you deal with bashing or criticism? Ignore it. Ignore, I am the master of ignoring people who have negative shit to say. I'm sorry. Um, I am I, I count myself I feel like I'm really good at ignoring what people have to say if it's negative I feel like people will always say something people will say something negative people will say something positive it's, if it's positive thank you and I appreciate it and I'm humbled by it if somebody's gonna say your eyebrows are crooked um, you're lying you have a man sponsoring your life um, um, you did it at a damn um you did this or you have a filthy habit of doing this or whatever whatever okay does it affect my life does it pay my bills does what you are saying uh affect me in such a way that it compromises my quality of life no it used to it used to because compromising of quality of life is allowing what people say to hurt you to depress you to and being the people pleaser that i once was that would hurt me when people would say, um, oh, wow, she has, why is she driving two cars? Oh, her father buys her cars. My father stopped buying me cars when I was in a varsity. And ever since I've been buying my own cars. So, okay, am I going to sit here and explain to people who don't know me about my life? Absolutely not. So if somebody's going to criticize it also is very different. There's constructive criticism and then there's just criticizing because you feel like you can criticize because you are very unhappy about your life. To me, if you're going to criticize and you're going to be very mean about how you're criticizing and not constructive, it says a lot more about you than it does about me. There's something going on in your life, in your space, in your vicinity that makes you feel like you can come up here to my space. And talk nonsense and for me I, I just can't allow it I cannot allow it I used to for a very long time but I just refuse to do it anymore that's so I just ignore it um, I don't let it get to where it used to be I ignore it I take it with a whole tablespoon of salt and I ignore it um, okay how did you get a successful channel? I don't think my channel is quite there yet. I feel like I have an issue with success or successful. And the irony, the irony, <laughs> and the irony behind that is that my name means success. So what do you mean? Sis? How do you say you're not successful, but your name is Katlem? How do you say your channel is not successful, but your name is Katlem? It's really ironic, but for me personally, I just don't feel like my channel is where I want it to be. Um, I've been in this YouTube game for a while now, and uh, yeah, I feel like I've been in it for a while now, and because my content is very, very different 
to what is what could be deemed a successful channel especially in this country because i don't do uh vlogs where i'm constantly around friends or in a relationship or have great friends blah, blah blah or because i don't do makeup and have a certain look or um 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 or because i am not i don't know i just feel like for me I'm not quite there yet, you know, but I I tell myself that I do content that I want to do. So for me, my content never gets boring, neither does it get redundant because I try to shift it up a notch and what have you. What I feel does get boring are my vlogs because I feel like my vlogs, <laughs> there's only so much that I can do when I'm in the house all day, every day. Um, I read. And I feel like, uh, you know, that's kind of bore. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's literally only so much I can do. So I don't feel like I'm at the pinnacle of success that I would want to be. Um, do I feel like my designation being in South Africa and that not being a, you know, my kind of content not being as widely watched in this country, do I feel like that might be hindering me a bit? Absolutely. Um, do I feel like it's a problem? No, I don't. I move on. I'm thankful that I've got other streams of income that help me uh, live. So right now I am doing this. Yes, income does come in from this, but however, it's not nearly what I would like it to be. So yeah, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that for now so that I can collect the questions again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just, just a little chill with me. Let's relax. Let's drink some tea and have a conversation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm going to go now because I am actually recording another video. I recorded two others before this one. So I'm going to go now and I'll talk to you in the next questions and answers that I pull up from everywhere. I hope you're subscribed to the channel. Do join the JK fam. We are here. We love you. You love us. We're doing the things. Rally Rata. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm, I'm such a mess. I'm really in a good space today. So these are the great days to, to uh, record. But I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.